Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up payment link with Stripe. First things first, you're going to want to create your account on Stripe. So you want to go to stripe.com and then start creating your account through there. Once you're done, you're going to find a dashboard that looks like this. So what you want to do is you want to go to the left side of your screen and take a look at the navigation menu right here. If you scroll the way down, you will find this payment section. So go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, you have the options of disputes, waiter, payment link and terminal readers. Now we want to go to the payment link. So go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to want to create a new payment link. So go ahead and click on this new button. And over here, we're going to see the preview of the page that your customer will see once they click on the payment link. And on the left side are all of the settings that you can alter for your payment links. So first you can choose whether you want to select product or subscriptions as the type, or you can also choose whether you want to create this link as some sort of open link. So your customer can choose on what they want to pay. Let's say that I want to set up the product or subscriptions for this case. So I'm going to want to choose my product. As you can see, now I already have a product here, but if you haven't created any product yet, you can also create directly from this page. All you have to do is click on this add new product options. Next, you're going to want to add up the name for your product and then you can also add image if you want. For example, if you have a product that has similar names or maybe it has some variety and different colors have different pricing, you can go ahead and add up the pictures so that once your customers take a look at the description of the product, they know that they are paying for the right one. And you can also add descriptions if you want and then you will be able to add your price obviously and you can also change the currency according to your shop for example let's say that i'm going to work with usd for now and then i'm going to put five dollars as the price and then you can see that on the right side of this box there will be a price preview and you can choose whether you want this product to have recurring billing or just one time. I'm just going to work with one time for now and then you can go ahead and click add product. All right, as you can see, now the product is added and then you can change the quantity if you want. For example, if your product comes in pair or maybe if your customers checked out more than one product, you can just type in the amount of product and then the system are going to calculate the total pricing automatically or you can also just click this let customer adjust quantity options in case you want things to be a little bit easier for you and then you can also choose the amount that the customer will be able to input on this box for example you set up the rules to make sure that all of your customer will be able to get an item so you don't want just one customer to check out all of them you can just let's say put a maximum of like five items so that are the maximum quantity of items that a customer will be able to check out and then if you want you can also just add another product so let's say that your customers is checking out more than one product you can just add a new product here if you want or you can just add an item that is already there or a product that is already there and then choose the quantity or let the customer adjust the quantity so you can add as many product as you want but if you just want to use one product all you have to do is click on this triple dot right here and remove the product now below it you'll be able to see this additional options for your settings so you can collect customer addresses if you want and you can choose whether you want the address to be for billing addresses only or billing and shipping addresses. So let's say I want to collect the billing and shipping addresses just for the record for the internal in case something happens, in case my customers 
ended up giving complaints or anything it could be very helpful if i know the address both for the billing as well as for the shipping in case their addresses are different so you can add the shipping country i'm just going to leave it as it is and then you can also add the shipping rates which is also going to be a very good record but i'm just going to skip it for now and then you can also choose whether you want your customers to give their phone numbers or not i'm just going to click yes for now and then they also have additional options such as add custom fields allow promotions codes allow business customer to provide tax ids and save payment details for future uses so let's say i want to save the payment details and then i'm going to go ahead and click create link all right and now we got our payment link ready all you have to do is click on this copy link and then you can give it into your customers if you scroll down you can edit some more before you give it into your customers you can manage the shipping you can also manage the payment method if you need to all you have to do is click on the setting symbols and then here you'll be able to set on all of the payment methods so for example on the wallets here they have alipay apple pay google pay link paypal revolt play wechat pay and many more if you'd like to turn on more payment options all you have to do is click on this turn on button and then your customer will be able to choose that payment method and once you're done you can just go back to payment link and then let's say that you want to directly build your payment link into your customers you can also create the payment link from your customers data and all you have to do is go to this customer sections right here and then let's say you want to add new customers you can just go ahead and click this add customers button and then go ahead and insert their name let's say we're going to name it john doe and then add the email and you can also add the description for this customer if you want let's say maybe it's a loyal customer and then you can set the billing information either the billing email is the same as account email and you can add the billing details the phone number the shipping details time zone language currency tax status etc so you can go ahead and insert the info as much as you know and then once you're done inserting all of the information all you have to do is click add customer right now that our customer is inserted you're going to want to click on the customer's name and then before you'll be able to add the payment link or any other types of payment for these customers you are going to want to click on this payment method because you won't be able to add any forms of payment before you add the payment method so for example let's say that they have a fund card balance or maybe they have a bank transfer account that you know or maybe they have some debit or credit card you can choose either way but let's say that for this case i'm just going to click this fund cash balance and then let's say that they have 20 in their balance and you can just go ahead and click add funds and now you'll be able to add the payment so you can go ahead and click add and then you can go ahead and choose the currency for the payment and here all you have to do is add the amount for example it's going to be four dollars and then you have to make sure that the payment that you're going to put directly on your customer have the same currency with their payment method or else the system will reject it so go ahead and choose your amount and then you can also add some statement description or you can also just add descriptions here for example payment for test product a and then you can go ahead and click create payment and now you got the payment created inside of your customer's info and you can definitely send receipt to your customer if you want or for example if something happened you can also just click refund payment by clicking here and then you can choose whether you want to refund it into a customer's bank account or customer balance and then you can also choose the refund let's say this one is requested by customers 
then you can go ahead and click on refund and now you know that the four pounds sterling is refunded into the customer's balance and then you can also add invoice simply by clicking on this plus sign besides the invoice option and let's say you want to send invoice for the test product go ahead and add the quantity and then you can also add the price and then you can choose whether you want to email the invoice to customer and include link to online payment page and the link that are going to be inserted in this invoice is going to be the one that we have created earlier for the test product and that's basically it that is how you can create payment link on stripe and how you can also send it directly through your customers data i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day